Number 56. If two coils placed next to one another have a mutual inductance of 5 millihenries, what voltage is induced in one when a 2 amp current is uh, in the other, excuse me, is switched off in uh, 30 uh, milliseconds? So take a look at number 55. I talked about where this kind of formula is coming from. EMF in two will equal then the negative mutual inductance multiplied by the change in current then through the first divided by the change in time. So um, if I need to find the voltage induced, I already have this problem set up and I can kind of just plug it in, all right? Now the negative sign you can kind of just more or less ignore. Uh, we, we've talked about this in prior problems, right? When we were talking about EMFs up here, just, you know, it it's just a, a, a sign in there to uh, talk about that the EMF would be induced in the opposite direction because it resists then any change, but don't worry about it. It's just a result of uh, Lenz's law. Um, in terms of the magnitude, that's what we're most concerned about. So just take the absolute values here, okay? So the mutual inductance they told us <clears throat> was five millihenries. So there's gonna be five times 10 to the minus three because you know we need that in henries. The current here was two amps and the change in time was gonna be 30 milliseconds. You know we need that in seconds. So take 30 multiplied by 10 to the minus three. Why is it, you know, why is two amps the change? Well, because it started at two and then it was switched off. All right, so obviously, if you started with two and then you had none left, the change is two. All right, so now take out the handy dandy calculator and five times 10 to the minus three times two divided by 30 times 10 to the minus three. We get about three, you know, one third, 3.33 times 10 to the minus one, and that'll be volts. Okay, those are the, the those are the units of EMF. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that helped. If it did, give us a hand. Hit the subscribe button, like button, tell your friends. All right. And if you're taking other courses, chemistry or math, we got a whole bunch of solved problems out there for you as well. Even if you're not using the OpenStax books, download it, find a similar problem, and all issues will be fixed. Take care.